Today, I thought I'd share a little bit of information about the different types of wheat flour. One of the biggest differences between the types of wheat flour is the protein content. A higher protein content in the flour results in a finished product with a firmer, chewier texture, while a lower protein content results in a finished product with a softer, more tender texture. Whole wheat flour has approximately 11 to 14% protein and tends to have more pronounced flavor and darker color because it contains the entire wheat berry. Its coarser texture and higher protein content make it a good fit for products such as carrot cake and gingerbread. Patent flours, also known as refined flours, only contain the endosperm of the wheat berry. Examples are bread flour, all-purpose flour, pastry flour, cake flour, and self-rising flour. Bread flour has approximately 12 to 14 percent protein. The high protein content helps provide structural support in products such as yeast leavened bread, where the protein helps entrap carbon dioxide, providing a larger volume and chewier crumb. All-purpose flour has approximately 9 to 11 percent protein. The relatively high protein content makes all-purpose flour appropriate for some types of bread, pizza crust, and some pastries. Pastry flour has approximately 7 to 9 percent protein content. This results in products such as pies and tarts that have textures that are tender and flaky. Cake flour has a very low protein content, approximately 6 to 8 percent. This results in products such as muffins, scones, and of course cakes that have soft, delicate textures. Self-rising flour has approximately 8 to 8.5% 8 protein content and contains added salt and baking powder. The low protein content results in products such as biscuits, muffins, and pancakes that have a tender, soft texture. So hopefully the next time you're in the mood to do some baking, you found this helpful. For more information, please visit sunup.okstate.edu or food.okstate.edu.